We are now prepared to use those three trigonometric ratios that we've learned about to solve for an unknown side of a right triangle. In order to calculate a missing side in a triangle, we just have to know one of the non-90 degree angles and one other side in the triangle. That's all we have to have, is those two pieces. So let's run through an example so you can see how this works. We're asked to find x in the triangle below and we're told to round to one decimal place. So let's start with what we're told. Well, it looks like we have a 32 degree angle at the top of the triangle, and we're also told the longest side of the triangle, which is the hypotenuse, that's eight millimeters. We're asked to find side length x, which is directly across from 32 degrees, so that would be opposite, the opposite side from 32 degrees. Now we have to pick one of those three trig ratios, sine, cosine, or tan, that will help us solve this. So in order to do that, uh, if it helps, just write out SOHCAHTOA at the top of your page and look for the one that has opposite and hypotenuse in it. That will be sine. And now we can sketch out the equation. So sine of 32 degrees is equal to opposite divided by hypotenuse. We can fill those two things in, one with a value we know, one with our unknown x. So sine of 32 degrees is equal to the opposite is x, and the hypotenuse is 8. And you can see in our equation, the only thing we don't know is x, so we should be able to solve for that. And here's where we're going to have to do a little bit of algebra. We want to get x left all by itself, so we're going to have to get rid of the 8 on the right-hand side. And in order to do that, we're going to have to multiply by 8, because 8 is in the bottom of a fraction. We'll multiply by 8 on each side of the equation. Whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. And what that's going to do is it's going to cancel the 8s on the right-hand side. And on the left-hand side, we're just going to have 8 times sine of 32. Now, sine of 32 is a decimal value that we can get from our calculator just by typing in sine 32. If I do that, I get 0 0.5299. Uh, two dot 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 and that's going to be equal to x you could if you're comfortable with your calculator you could just type in 8 times sine 32 and do it all in one step or you could find that decimal for sine 32 first and then multiply it by 8 whichever way you do it you're going to be left with x and we get that rounding to one decimal place it's 4.2 and the units are millimeters because the units of the other side that we were using were in millimeters. So there we go, we found an unknown side x. So one important check that we can do is we can check whether or not our answer is reasonable by using the diagram. Now the diagram has to be uh, reasonably accurate, which means that the angle that's given to us has to be you know, reasonably close to 32 degrees which in this picture, it looks like that's a pretty good 32 degree angle. If the triangle looks something like this, and they told us the angle here was 32 degrees, then we wouldn't be able to make a good estimate with it because clearly that angle's bigger than 45 degrees. So it's gonna cause us issues when we're trying to estimate how big side X should be. So I'll put an X through this one because that one's no good. But the triangle we were given was reasonably accurate. So if we look at uh, side length x compared to side length 8, we could probably say, if we were to rotate side length x up, we could probably say that it would be about half as long as the 8 millimeter side length. So I would say that, yeah, x coming out to be 4.2 millimeters is a pretty good answer. It's reasonable. Let's go through one more example. Calculate the height of this tree. Uh, we're told an angle here, 38 degrees, and we're told a side, which is adjacent to 38 degrees. And we're asked to find a height of the tree. I'll label it as lowercase h, not to be confused with hypotenuse, and it's directly across from the 38 degrees, which means it's the opposite side of the triangle. And so I'll call that op 
and ADJ just so that we don't confuse uh, the hypotenuse with H, lowercase h standing for height. So now we're ready to write out a trig equation. Well, I have an adjacent side and an opposite side. So if I go to SOCA-TOA, the one I want is tan. Tan is equal to opposite divided by adjacent. So tan of 38 degrees is equal to opposite divided by adjacent, or tan of 38 is equal to, well, the opposite side is my unknown h, and my adjacent is 4.2. Now I'm ready to try to find h, so to do that I will have to multiply each side by 4.2. That gets rid of it on the right hand side, leaving me with just h. And on the left hand side I have 4.2 times tan of 38, which I'll just type directly into my calculator this time. And I get h is equal to 3 point, I'm not told what to round to, so I'll round to one decimal place. This will be 3.3 meters, units or meters because the side length was given to me in meters uh, here at the beginning.